Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about how to tell your family that you're going to join the army. And that could be any army, British army, US army, Australian army, anything like that. All of these tips will be exactly the same for whatever army that you're going to join. Also, if you're going to join the RAF or the Navy or any of the services whatsoever. So I'm going to get straight into it. And my first piece of advice is gather as much information as possible. Therefore, you are going to go on that website of the army that you want to join. If you want to go on the British, if you want to join the British Army, get on the British Army website and gather as much information as possible. So when you do go and chat to your family, be it your parents or your girlfriend or your wife or your grandparents, You've got information to answer any of the questions that they're going to be able to throw at you. But not only that, it shows some real professionalism. So if they are worried that you're a little immature for the army, you'll probably really allay some of their fears by being professional, going into the conversation that you're going to have. Take your phone, take your laptop, get that army website up on the device that you're going to take in. And then you can show some real professionalism by navving through that website and show them actually all the benefits that the British Army can actually have for you, which in itself might quash some of the questions that they were already going to ask you anyway. So what I would do, show some professionalism, do some real research before you go in to have that chat with your family. Number two, maturity. They're going to have a lot of questions and they may get a little emotional but this is where you need to show maturity and they can see that maturity in you therefore what you do not want to be doing is kicking off becoming angry rising to some of the questions that they're going to have as if they have as if you haven't thought thought them through you need to show real maturity when they when you go in there that will also keep the whole conversation as calm as possible so you need to show professionalism and maturity before you go in there Next, the other thing that they might be worried about is how they're going to communicate with you whilst you're on basic training, whilst you go on exercise, whilst you go on operations. 80% of the time that you're in the military, any military, your family are going to be able to communicate with you. That will be via phone, but most definitely via emails. And you will be able to ring them. If you are on operations or if you're on exercise, you've got whatever happens, you're going to be able to ring them once or twice a week anyway. So I wouldn't worry too much about that if the family think that they're going to lose touch with you. That is not going to be the case. You're not away in the army all of the time. You will be able to see them on weekends. You get lots of leave in the military as well. So hopefully that will allay some of their fears whereby they think that they may not see you very much. They will. They they will they will see you as much as you can get back, which a lot of the time is very often. Number four, tell them why you want to join the army. Don't just go in there and say, I'm joining the army. Tell them why you want to join the army. This will also be a question when you've got the assessment center as well. Tell them why you want to join the army. That'll also show that you've done research, which backs up point one as well. Tell them why you want to join. Tell them why you're doing it. Have And also what you could do is have some of your career planned out to show them as well. Saying I want to get to basic training, I want to qualify for my trade at this point and hopefully get promoted by this point, then I'll be on a certain amount of money and you can take it from there. It'll just show that you're mature, you're professional and you have done your research into the actual army that you're going to join. Lastly, you need to leave that conversation on a positive note. If you're 18, you don't need your parents' backing and approval to join the army. However, I would advise getting it. If you're under 18, you do need their signature on that bit of paper. So once again, you cannot show immaturity if you're under 18 because that'll be another sort of string to your parents' bow on why you wouldn't 
wanted why you shouldn't join the army because you're too immature you need to show maturity and also you need to leave the chat on that positive note and how you leave it on that positive note is what you could say is ask them to accompany you to the armed forces careers office so then any questions that you can't answer they can ask the recruiting officer at the armed forces careers office so that what that is one of the big ones is leaving the whole conversation on a positive note don't be storming out of that room and if and if somebody does start shedding a tear then you need to listen to them you you can't you can't be quick to anger and ask them why they're crying it's because they love you most often than not and they're frightened but hopefully point one having done your research showing them what the army can do for you will hopefully alleviate a lot of that but those generally are my five tips when you are going into that conversation to speak to your parents or loved ones whatever army you're joining if you follow those five steps hopefully the conversation will go smoothly and you won't be as a person very nervous going in there or of course if you're a parent or a loved one watching this video right now hopefully this will allay some of your fears as well and and you can chat to the loved one who who's actually joining up but if you do have any questions please just leave them in the comment section below and i always get back to them all take care bye